Shalom. I'd like to say all praises due unto Yahweh, Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba Hashem Rakakwadash, the bonds of the apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the hope of members of the left. This is just going to be a quick lesson, um, you know, in regards to, uh, you know, the uh, basically uh, the lie that's been. Uh, what's been uh instituted you know against uh the so-called negroes there right? the tribe of judah you know and uh this is what it is you know um i'm just gonna play this video and i have two videos i'm gonna play then i'm gonna just dissect it so i'm gonna start with this video i was watching with uh this guy uh sub-zero podcast He's like, a, he was like a hip hop guy into um, doing a lot of like video production and stuff, um, you know, back in the early mid 2000s. And then uh, now he has a whole uh, podcast where he's talking about certain things that's upon our, our, our so called community, so called, you know. The so-called black, you know, like community, which, uh, you know, all that black, you know, that's a bad, uh, you look at that word black, it has a bad uh, light, you know, because uh, black, you know, represents death, basically. Look at the etymology, you know, uh, that's what it is, you know. So, uh, you know what they have is just a deaf culture what they what they're pushing right you know all all by the hands of the so-called white man the, the the pure man right because he basically if call it, him by him calling himself white he's calling himself pure you know so uh this is a whole thing which was set up and i'm gonna get it if you read this book uh from bob Lon and tim book too very good book I'm kind of all over the place so I'm just gonna be flowing in the spirit you know I'm gonna be flowing in the spirit um, you know where the uh, you know like where the Raka Kodash the Holy Spirit's gonna lead because uh, this is a lot of like deception what they been using upon our people man This is uh, page 19 from Babylon and Timbuktu. All right. You could buy this book as a PDF or if you, if you have the book, coverage, if you, uh, you want to buy this book, you could buy it, you know, um, you know, on Amazon from, Am from, you know, from Babylon and Timbuktu, written by Rudolph R. Windsor, which he was a historian, you know, so-called black man, Judah. And he goes into, uh, you know, the origin of the white race. This is page two, right? And uh, basically, uh, he he doesn't know that basically, uh, you know, the origin of the white race, you know, it goes back to Cain, all right? And then basically, uh, during the flood, you know, there was only Noah, Shem, Ham, and Japhet, and his uh, wives, and uh, Noah and their wife, and basically there's only eight souls who was in the ark. So after that, the whole, basically, uh, you know, the whole, uh, everybody, the Most High, he uh, set everything up where basically, uh, you know, that Shem was going to have his land. A landmark and then uh Japhet, you know and ham right so uh you know that's how the whole uh population came like you know the, uh, um like that's how the earth was repopulated so if i'm kind of all over the place but um this is uh i'm gonna get deuteronomy 32 
Deuteronomy 32 and 8. When the Most High divided to the nation their inheritance, when he separated the sons of Adam, right, the sons of Adam, right, so we come out of that sons of Adam, right, through, uh, you know, through uh, Adam, you know, the sons of Adam, and then Noah, right, so everyone, you know, like you spawn from the black man, you know, and um, basically the Most High, he chose a separate nation, you know, even though everybody comes out of us, the Most High, he chose a separate people. When he separated the sons of Adam, he, he set the bound of the people according to the number of their children of children of Israel. For the Lord's portion is his inheritance. Jacob is the lot of his inheritance. So the Lord, he is only dealing with the sons of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob and the 12 patriarchs, right? And, um, you know, that, that's why, like, these other nations, you know, who's not of that stock of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, the 12 patriarchs, they're mad, you know, boy, the, and there's what it is, man. And, uh, we, you know, when we get the rule, you know, like, like when we get the domain, we're, we're going to rule, all right? And, uh, you know, like, this is our inheritance, you know, that we're going to inherit. And, uh, you know, so, you know, like Japheth, all right, or the, or the, like, like other Etruscans, all right, and basically, um, you know, when the Greeks came, you know, with the so-called uh, Alexander or Philip, then Alexander or whatever, you know, they uh, pretty much drove a lot of these people from off their lands. It says remove not the, you know, like the ancient landmark, you know, like where that, you know, that dwell is, right? So, um, you know, that's why he's a, he's a liar. And, uh, you know, he did a lot of deception on the, a psyop on the people. Right, because remember Esau was a, a fugitive and a vagabond, right? And that's why he, he does, you know. He's the same Cain, you know, who was cursed with leprosy. Therefore, it says Psalms nine, six, Psalm 94, verse 11. Their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever and their dwelling places to all generation. They call their lands after their own names. So that's why they want to call, um, you know, uh, America, Africa, and all these different places where they colonize. And want to call their, you know, like they want to call it after their own names, right? Because, um, you know, Africa, it goes back to a man named, uh, you know, like Scipio Africanus. All right. And basically, um, he defeated, you know, the uh, like, 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 he defeated like the Carthaginians, you know, so he called that whole landmass of Africa uh, after his name. All right. So, uh, so this is to, uh, from Babylon Timbuktu. Uh, page uh, two. It says uh, Nimrod, the Ethiopian, was a Kushai, right? Was the leader of the conspiracy against God. He was a mighty man, a conqueror. He uh, held the people under his dictatorship, under his dictatorship, right? And that's why, uh, you know. Like this is what they want to do, you know. Like they want to have, uh, you know, this whole uh, plan with the NWO to have everyone as one, you know, and to oppress, you know, the children of Israel, and uh, you know, everyone and anybody who's against them, you know, they, like they want to oppress, right? So. Uh, is page 20 it says the ancient people did not classify race according to the skin color 
like the modern nation of Europe and Ar Americans, the ancient, including the Greeks and the Romans, right? Because prior to uh, the so-called Greeks and the Romans, you know, there was, uh, you know, like the, like you had the like the like the Etruscans, right? Which are the Japhites who were dwelling in those lands prior to the white man, right? So basically, uh, you know. When you read about uh, Maccabees, about, uh, you know, Philip, you know, the second, and I believe Alexander the Great. And uh, basically, uh, you know, like that's when uh, evils were multiplying the earth. When you read first Maccabees, one goes into that. The ancient, they said the ancient, including the Greeks and Roman, identified people according to their national or tribal name. So that's why like they do these things right psalms 1911 their inward thoughts is that their houses shall continue forever right so they feel like you know like this is what they'd want to do too right this is what they did to the north atlantic you know like the so-called native americans right and uh you know seminole indians you know and you uh you uh ishika right you mexicans right this is what they do all right and and their dwelling places to all generations they call their land after their own names you know so that's why they give us all kind you know their anywhere where we anywhere um the people dwell you know like they you know the china you know all these different names you know all these different names you know like esau is just a devil right because they don't want you know, like they have people in confusion, you know, like with these so-called modern names, man. Says, uh, so they use such names as Visigoths, Vandals, Saxons, Ethiopians, or uh, you know, the Carthaginians, Jews, Arab, Persia, the Babylonian, Egyptians, and Moors, right? So this is what they do, you know, to divide, uh, but basically this whole thing was orchestrated by Esau, man. So this is uh, page 21. It says, uh, John or Johan F. Blumen, Johan F. Johan F. Blumenbach, a German, uh, 1752 to 18, uh, 1840 was the first to divide humanity on the basis of skin color upon up to uh, this time not such attempted had been made his classification set up a color line to determine a later later generation right and uh, this is what they do you know they, they uh you know like they divided people with uh yellow because before you know they were calling people chinese you know that like they would call them like the mongoloid people you know but now they call them asian or uh, chinese or whatever korean you know but uh you know they call they call us black you know which you know black you know that has uh basically deaf and the white, you know, when you call yourself white, that means that you're pure. You're calling it, you know. But, and he's the only nation who's, uh, who's, like, like he's the only uh, nation, you know, in the Bible where their skin is actually, is red. It means red, Edom, all right. And Ashashra means, it means wasted away. Genesis 25 verse 21 and Isaac entreated the Lord for his wife because his wife was barren and the Lord was entreated of him and Rebekah his wife conceived so Isaac you know um, you know he had Rebekah right and uh, you know and they uh, they slept together right? and uh, the children struggled together within her and she said if it be so why am I thus and she went to inquire of the Lord. So, 
you know there was so you know so she didn't know that she had two wombs you know she had uh you know like two wombs in her uh in her uh in in her right so and the lord said unto her two nations are in thy womb and two manner people shall be separated from thy bowels so the lord he's he he, he 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 like he separated two wombs the two nations right and the one people shall be stronger than the other right and we're and we're the definitely stronger you see what's going you see what's happening with like like with uh um you see what's happening with usain bolt you know mike tyson you know floyd mayweather you know like we're the you know like we're the stronger man you know and the elder shall serve the younger right so esau came out first he was the eldest right but the lord he chose the younger now it's like I, he chose uh you know like he chose um it's a, and the one people shall be stronger than the other and the elder shall serve the younger so elder so esau was born first right but uh the lord he said he uh you know he like he was dealing with uh like we're gonna read it and when he when his days to be delivered were fulfilled behold there were twins in her womb and the first nation the first came out red all over like a hairy gar garment right so uh you know he was very he was fair he was he didn't have no pigmentation right and they called his name esau right which means ashashua right he wasn't actually hairy but he was like red because he was very he didn't have no pigmentation and after that came his brother and his hand took hold on esau's heel and his name was called jacob right we know that jacob means supplant right and we're going to supplant esau for his blessing right and esau was three score years old when she buried him and the boys grew and esau was a cunning hunter so esau is a hunter man you now that's his uh his ammo you know the sword you know his science and technology you know like two ball cane you know like that's esau man the man and a man of the field and jacob was a plain hunter it's like a jacob was a plain man a dwelling in tents so jacob you know like we're just relaxed we like to have food you know play music relax and you know hold a vibe you know and basically uh you know like that's uh you know like the characteristics of jacob so the most i was only dealing with jacob he's not he wasn't dealing with esau and this is how the most i set up this story man all right and uh you know i'm gonna play this video quick and then um i'm gonna play this lock here EMS workers are facing murder charges. I need people to understand that one of the reasons that Okay, listen now. Listen. I played this before. The comrades sent this again. Because me have a problem with coconut. <laughs> them I think them better. Yeah, and this is what they did, you know, where he, he saw, you know, basically, um, you know, like, you know, like they want to use our people, you know, because, uh, you know, we know that Jacob's the former of all things, you know, and um, basically, you know, like they use our people, you know, like the West Indians and, you know, you so-called, uh, you African, the West African or whatever, to come here. And whatever and they look down on on, on on like on their brother they're you know and basically um you know like they have a disdain because a lot of our people they get all kind of different grants and loans you know to start up a business do all kinds of shit but uh you know but the people who uh you know the are, are the so-called um the foundation black americans who uh who, who work hard who build up this society this whole this world that we live in here in the west 
you know, with uh, North, with uh, you know, throughout America and Canada, you know, was our people, the foundation, you know, so-called the indigenous people of this land, right? So, uh, you know, like that's why um, like Tariq Nasheed and all, like they have that term, foundation Black America, because there's a lot of history of our uh, of our people. Read about uh, the thirteen colonies, um, you know, in America, you know, and um, the Erica Confederacy, you know, with the Creek and you know Reuben and Gad. So there's a lot of history here on this land, man, and um, and they look down on the so-called you know so-called black man, you know, which is off. All right, so I'm gonna get this scripture stuck here. Isaiah 11 and uh, 11 verse 13. Then to the envy also of Ephraim shall depart, and the adversaries of Judah shall be cut off. So that so the Ephraim. Which being, uh, you know, you so-called, uh, you know, like you Puerto Ricans, you know, like you Northern tribes, so-called Latinos, who look down, you know, on the on the so-called black man, all right. And the adversaries of Judah shall be cut off, and Ephraim shall not envy Judah, and Judah shall not shall not vex Ephraim, right? Because. Uh, we we know what was going on back in the nineties and two thousand with um you know with uh the drug war you know you know with uh you know in uh in Los Angeles in in certain parts of California you know where there was a lot of war and even here you know in um you know certain parts of America and stuff you know. You know, like they don't really like deal with uh, the so-called black man. You know, they call them lazy. You know, it's the same thing too. You know, uh, I'm of Jamaican descent, so a lot of Jamaican they like to come. You know, and they call them Yankee. You know, like especially when you go, you know, when you I have a lot of family in the states, right? So, you know, like when they talk about black, like they talk about the black man. You know, the so-called Negro man. They, they, they like they call them oh. You Yankee boy, you Yankee, you oh no, lazy or whatever. Because you guys, you know, like you guys come here and you kiss the white man's ass to try and you know, like try get ahead, you know, which is totally off, man. You know, so that shit's gonna be hot. It's gonna be. It's gonna. <laughs> it's gonna be. It's gonna put to a halt, you know. And um, and Judah. Right now, like Judah, you know, the Lord only like, like you know, like the Lord is of, of is of the Judah stock, right? Remember, it says that we all come out of the waters of Judah, man. Genesis forty nine and eight, Judah, thou art he whom thy brethren shall praise. Thy neck, it says, thy hand shall be in the necks of thy enemies. Thy father's children shall bow down before thee. So you Edomites, the other nation, you, like you're, you're gonna bow down. And like even these, uh, like, like like even these other tribes are gonna have to bow down, you know, and to uh, and have reverence, you know, unto the so-called black man, Judah, man. All right, Judah is a lion's whelp. From the prey, my son, thou art gone up. He stooped down. He couched down as a lion and as an old lion who shall rouse him up you know with the whole uh you know um you know um malcolm x you know um you know the so-called um you know like the black panther party you know and basically um you know there was like a uprising our people was rising up right but basically it wasn't that time and basically, uh, it was all set up too, you know, because basically, um, when you go into like the seventies or whatever, there was like the hippie and the disco era, then the eighties, 
whatever when the CIA they, 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 like they set up uh, you know the, the whole uh, crack epidemic you know in the in 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 these in, like in these inner city neighborhoods and stuff and uh, and destroyed our people man and he couched as a lion and as an old lion who shall rouse him up all right so the only one who's going to rouse him up is is uh you know is it's like when the lord comes and he's gonna and he's gonna um he's gonna come and he's gonna you know and he's gonna uh rouse up you know because basically like when the lord comes that means that you know that you know you're uh you know their whole plan and stuff is for the nwo is going to be broken up the scepter shall not depart from judah nor a lawgiver from between his feet until shiloh come and unto him shall the gathering of the people be all right it goes to that but uh you know so let's play this then me They get the best job. CO correction. Expendable. Eh? Yo, J Fay, you gotta teach me how how he talk like this, man. <laughs> or, or, or they wiping some white woman's ass. But check this out. She broke it down, y'all. Listen up. Coconut. I need people to understand that one of the reasons that Jamaicans and other African diaspora people react to African Americans and talk about Africans or African Americans in a way they do is because this was taught to us by white America. This is part of what I'm studying now in my graduate program. When they first started to recruit people to come to work here, right, about five or six decades ago, they told them that the African Americans were lazy people and they did not want to work. Me you hear that? She's saying that the white men taught them that we were lazy and didn't want to work. She's going to tell you why. Well, at that time, it was because they didn't want to pay African Americans more money. They wanted to give them slavery wages. But African Americans w were trying to hold out for more pay. Instead of paying African Americans more, what they did was recruit black people from the Caribbean, at that time controlled by Britain. So it was very easy for them to convince Britain that, hey, send those people who are down here with no jobs to our country to work. And when they came here, the white farmers owners and those agricultural people yeah you see and they're still doing it still right now right they're doing that you know a lot of our people they're skilled a lot of the west indian you know that they come here and and they're very skilled you know and even uh the farm workers too you know like they have them uh, on these farm worker programs and they're and they exploit them man you know a whole bunch of them is dying over over Niagara Falls here in uh, Canada and, and and America over that over that whole region, you know. You know, so um, you know, it, like this is the whole uh, like deception, you know, like to uh, you know, uh, like to look down on the so-called black man, you know. All them and ingrained in them that the reason that they have to come to work is because African Americans don't want a job, right? They so that's what happened when the Africans come down here. They look at us like we spit, huh? How can we tell this African they won't give us no loans to open up no restaurants, huh? Rosie, as soon as the Dominican or African come here. The government give them a grant so they can make a way, uh, make a living. As long as you don't have a uh, American birth certificate. Right. So the other people come here and look at us like we dirt. You live in the greatest country in the world and you broke. White men ain't giving us shit. <clears throat> That's why I got to sell magazines, do websites. I got about eight different hustles. Yeah. So you see that. So, you know, like, so it's like, this is what they do, you know, to oppress our people, man. They keep us down. Then these other nations could come here and they look down on the, on the so-called black man, right? You know, the so-called uh, Negroes or whatever. And they say, oh, 
Oh, like, oh, you so called, uh, you so called black men are, are lazy, you know, the Yankee them, you know, and all kind of shit, you know, but it's all orchestrated by Esau, man, you know, the serpent, man, and, uh, you know, like, this was their whole, uh, like, their whole, uh, like, like, their whole ploy, you know, to keep our down. Hold on, I'm gonna save this one second. Yeah, so I'm gonna play this video um, just for educational purposes. I'm gonna play this quick. I am a black Egyptian. My father is much darker than I am. My mother is lighter than I am. Uh, in Egypt, people are identified by the religion first, not the race. So in Egypt, if you are Christian, you are a minority person. But if you're black, you're not a minority person. You are a part of the mainstream society. And I came from this background. And uh, in Egypt, you identify as Arab and as Muslim. And in this country, when I first came, I identified myself as Arab American and Muslim first. First, and gradually, I became, to, I became to identify myself as black. I came to the U.S. in 1978, and I became U.S. citizen in 1985. When I became an, when I became a yeah, so you know, there's a lot of our people who's down there and uh, you know, all over the earth. You know, Israel is scattered. You know, and this is a diaspora. You know, and uh, you know, you know, he cla he, he classifies himself a black because. He has, uh, you know, Negro roots, all right? There was, uh, you know, a lot of our people there uh, was down there in Egypt, Alexandria, uh, Egypt, you know, during the Ptolemy dynasty and, you know, and, uh, you know, there's always been a, a, a whole bunch of our people down there in Egypt, you know, uh, Palestine, you know, all over. All right, this is a great diaspora that we're uh, living under. Let me just play this quick. So, okay. Cause this is not a black nor white thing. This is just a, a nationality thing, and um, and it go in your nationality, it goes to your father. Do it around me. It doesn't go through your mother, all right? Your nationality goes through your father's father's seed. So that's it. Let me find that scripture. Deuteronomy 28 verse 64. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from the one end of the earth even unto the other and there shall ye be so no and there shalt thou serve other gods which neither thou nor thy fathers have known even wood and stone all right so uh that's why our people worshiping all kind of different gods hindu vishnu buddha uh islam all kind of different gods instead of instead of worshiping their their father, right? And knowing who they are, right? Basically, our national, our heritage was stolen from us, man. So let's continue to read. Watch this. When I became an, when I became a U.S. resident, I was told by the immigration and naturalization that I am white, and I told them that I am black, and they said, "No, in this country, you are white. All Arabs in this country, all Arab immigrants are white." I didn't pay much attention in the beginning to this because in the Arab world, we identify with our ethnicity first as Arab. Yeah. So you see what Esau does. You know, like they have, um, you know, like they lie, you know, and they indoctrinate them. You know, because basically, like this is what they do. They, they try to divide. Um, you know, let's say you're of a certain. If you're of a Negro stock or right, or black, right? So-called black or whatever. You know, like they will class. Be just because he's from uh, Egypt, you know, like they classify him as a white. You know, so they. This is all kind of stuff, man. And uh, this is all. Uh, when you read this, uh, um, like from Bible in Timbuk 2, it says, uh, John F. 
John F. Blumenbach. Slakia. John F. Blumenbach, a German a team in 1752 to 1840 was the first to divine humanity on the basis, basis of skin color. Upon this time, no such attempt had been made. His classification set up a color line to determine of a later generation. Mr. Blumenbach classified five chief races of mankind the Caucasian, the Mongoloid, you so called Asian, right? Or you Chinese, sir. Right? Uh, it says uh, the Ethiopians, the American Indians, and like I'm a Malayan. Moreover, he considered the Caucasian to be the original race, so the white race, right? So that's why he's called they're calling themselves white, which means pure, all right? Which you're not pure, man, you're pure in wickedness. It says, uh, like it said, blooming back the uh, like the anthropolis, the anthropolis named the white after the Caucasus, the Caucasus Mountains. These mountains are situated between the black and the Capian Sea, all right? So, uh, basically, you know, like you were, uh, you know, the Elamites who were driven up, you know, to the caves, you know, because during the Middle Ages, you know, like you were in a low estate, man, and you know, and Jake was on, was you know, in like on the throne, you know, and throughout Europe, all right? So, uh, let me play this rest of this video. It's for educational purposes. The Arab world, we identify with our ethnicity first as Arabs and, with, and then with the race second as black or white or whatever. But in this country, you identify with your racial group first and then with your ethnicity second. Gradually, I became re black first and Arab second. And I rejected my white classification publicly for the first time in 1987, in February, as a panelist in a function sponsored by the Association of the Study of Black Life and History in Detroit. Uh, I said that I belong to two minority groups. I am Arab American and Black American, and I am racially black and ethnically Egyptian. I was harassed by my employer right after that. I work for a white school district. The superintendent is white. All the associate superintendents are white, even though that we provide service to 30% black population. Uh, but the organization is white and the approach is very white. The attitude towards me changed completely after I went out publicly and, 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 and rejected my white classification. Uh, one co-worker came to me and told me, a white co-worker came to me and told me right after the function that he met with the superintendent and if I don't keep my mouth shut, my educational career is over. He said, you have nothing to do with these people, you have a history and a culture. These people came from the jungle, they have, you have nothing to do with them. These people lie and steal. When I see one of them in my neighborhood, I call the police. And I was told by the director of general education, who is retired now, uh, in 88, I was told by him that I get people angry when I say that I'm black Egyptian. If I just say that I'm Egyptian, I would get along. I have to add that I was denied promotion to- Yeah, so you see what they do, you know, like they get mad, right? Because, you know, they want to call him, um, instead of calling himself a black Egyptian, all right? You know, or Afro Egyptian, like this is what they do, all right? Because um, the original Egyptians, you know, where there were, uh, you know, the Hamlets, you know, and basically, um, you know, like we were uh, like under servitude, you know, you know, for 430 years, you know. So, um, with that, let us say all praises do unto you. How about Shem, Yahweh Bashem Shai, Hopefully this video is edifying and uh, you know, this is what they do man with uh, you know Psalms, uh, Psalms 30, Psalms 49 and uh, 11 man, this is what they do man Psalms 
49.11 Their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever and their dwelling places to all generation to the land after it says they call their land after their own names you know so Canada you know America and all these different lands where they dwell you know like they just name you know like these like they, like they just like they name like these places after their own you know uh, um, places where they conquered you know for the most part and this is what they do man um, so with that let us all praise you do unto Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rakakodash hopefully this video is edifying